welcome to the Just Learn Crypto Show. Uh, we'll work on the theme song later. Guys, this is episode one of Just Learn Crypto 2.0. We're bringing it back. We got a co-host, we got Aiden, and we got Ken Bozak on for the first episode. So it's actually about 30 seconds away from 420. Uh, so we're going to be lighting up. And hopefully you guys want to light up too. So uh, today we're going to talk about NFTs a lot. We're going to go over that. We're going to get to know Aiden. We're going to talk about Ken and what the hell he's been up to. But let's, uh, well, it's almost time. You got uh, 20 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds. Oh, so what are you up to today, Kenny boy? Counting down right now, man. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, <laughs> five, four. Ooh, let's yeah. go. Uh, Saturday, it's 420. Podcasting with the Bro Bros. What could be better? Oh. Yo, so believe it or not, this was like brand new yesterday. I, uh, I'm going to go with not. <coughs> Aiden, you just flew from Calgary back to Toronto. How was flying right now with COVID and everything? Oh, it's a, it's a nightmare. Um, they're very, very strict about the rules when you're in the airport. And then as long as you're eating on the plane, you don't need a mask. So it's <laughs> 300, uh, 300, 300 M&Ms later. You made <laughs> I yeah. saw, I saw a lady when I was on a plane going to Florida for this Miami bit basil NFT conference, uh, last month. Um, there was a lady on the plane and the stewardess, or I guess it's politically correct, correct, uh, flight attendant, uh, you know, it was a female flight attendant kept coming up to the lady and saying, look, yo, you got to get a mask on your kid. Like you got to keep the mask on your kid. And I'm like in my head, like good fucking luck, bro. Yeah. And uh, the lady was like, wait, what if we're eating? She's like, no. And she just ordered, like, a shit ton of stuff from, like, the cart. And the kid just constantly had, like, chips or cookies or something for the whole flight. I was like, level 9,000 play. Like, just have a bag of cookies and you never have to keep your mask on in the airport. Yeah. I there remember was... seeing a, a kid in the airport on the way out to Calgary just looking around <laughs> at everyone with their masks on. And I was thinking, like, if you were born two years ago, you're going to grow up thinking like, I can't wait till I get my mask mm. and I'm old enough to have one. It's a, it's a weird world right now. It depends, man. Some kids don't like hats. Some kids love hats. Some kids might like masks. Some might not. I mean, but like the reality is, is like in, in like Japan where they've been wearing masks and China where they've been wearing masks for a long time. It's not because of viruses because their air quality is so shit. Yeah, I mean, there's some bus stops I kind of wish I had to wear a mask at. Yo, there's certain times that masks are actually kind of kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, why why hasn't it been a standard for my McDonald's employees, like, that make my food, like, to wear a mask and a hairnet? Why was it just a hairnet? Dude, I love how fucking clean everything is now. Oh, I love it, too. Dude, oh. like, I was a germaphobe long before this fucking COVID shit, but, man, I love it. I love all these, like, wave... Like the, the wave, you know, touchless doors. Like, oh, that, isn't that like the future, like that we've seen, where it's like all the public bathrooms are going to be clean? It's weird, but they are. It's like, yeah, go take a shit at a bus stop restroom, and it's going to be. It's really nice scene. Yeah, it's really nice seeing like the like the homeless people go into the bathroom, smoke heroin, and then disinfect after. Like you didn't see that before. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's progress. I saw like 12 of them giving each other vaccines under a bridge the other day. So, really <laughs> they nice. See, they really got nice their hands game. on that vaccine. Eh? <laughs> Black market. <laughs> Side effects may vary. <laughs> oh, good. Yo, Ken, I was thinking of, you know, like, I was like uh, showing Aiden because Aiden just got into <laughs> crypto and NFTs like <laughs> fucking a week ago. <laughs> like he's a, such a noob, which is kind of funny, but he's man, he, he's he's definitely more of a crypto than people. That so what I, what I want to know the most right out of the gate, because I haven't really had a chance to talk to you. You know what I mean, bro, bro? Yeah. Uh, what, what What's your like, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to buy it. Like, what's your FOMO or... You know, like everyone has that thing. So for some people, it's Street Fighter, or for some people, it's Garbage Pail Kids. I'm just curious, like, what would be your like? Oh fuck it, I'm gonna have to put a mortgage on the house. Like, I'm going all in on. I can't believe, like, for me, maybe like 
honestly, no joke, like, for real, for real, real Dragon Ball Z NFTs or some Pokemon shit may really, may really get my money, right? Like, regardless of what they're doing. So, like, what's your, what's your thing? Like, you know? Yeah, so aside from Bratz, um, definitely <laughs> anything, anything Nintendo or Pokemon, uh, my girlfriend's going to be very upset with me. You got um, you got all the brats, right, man? I mean, that was the important, the most important sale of the year, mainstream <laughs> adoption. Yep. Yeah, I saw even uh, some celebrities now are coming out with NFTs as well. It's it's interesting how it's where it's headed. And you uh, grab anything from any celebrities recently, or look at any of them? I've been looking at Lindsay Lohan stuff, um, just because you know it's it's so far from the crypto space that it has that own kind of pull, just because it's so far outside of the norm. Um, I think that's what's going to determine a lot of the long-term value for NFTs is that there's some kind of brand or individual behind it that s- precedes just the initial value of having something that's limited. Um, because as the market gets flooded, there needs to be more to the story than just, I have one of a hundred of X. Right? Yeah, right. What's... And she's doing a thing with charity with her sales too, which right. I think is pretty cool. So she's she's not asking anybody for nothing and whatever she's getting, she's giving out to charity. So that's how I would expect celebrities to adopt this and to see that being done by her is well, especially after cool. Especially after how many celebrities got sued in 2017 for pumping ICOs. I can't wait for Mark Cuban to do the way that guy's handling shit right now. That it's destined for fucking like something come something. Hey, did you see Gary V tweeted out about NFTs this morning? Yeah, he spelled it wrong. <laughs> or he, you know, he. I don't think he knows how to, you know, what, what, what you know. I, I was like, it was. It wasn't even him. It was one of his. It was this eighteen-year-old fucking lackey that gets his coffee. Right. right. <laughs> Yeah, no, I made fun of him. I was like, yo, you're four years too late. And somebody <laughs> commented, you know, he's been doing research for years. You know, he's Gary V. He's serious. He doesn't talk about things till he knows about them. And I was like, well, you would think you would know it's capital N, capital F, capital T, not capital N, lowercase F, lowercase T. Like, the, you know what I mean? I was like, you think you, all of his years of research, he would have learned how to, like, you know, maybe spell it it's right like, before it's he tweeted like- it. It's like if you see someone spell Bitcoin with like a big B and a big C or like spacing Bitcoin. I'm like, just delete your. No, usually and... it was a uh, bit <laughs> space coin. Yeah. That was the most common thing back in the day, like five years ago. Like the celebrities would tweet it out. Uh, and, you know, they still don't know. Like, you know, that's the funny thing is they still don't know the difference between big B, little B, Bitcoin currency, Bitcoin blockchain technology well, you know what ken like what a great opportunity right now like this is such great shit for aiden to hear he's a week into cryptocurrency five days yeah oh, five oh, days, baby. You know? he's just a little baby satoshi a little toddler hodler over here <laughs> yeah i definitely uh resisted jumping into the pool for a while and one of the reasons for that is i have a very addictive personality and when i go for something i go all the way yeah. Uh, so I'm very careful to jump in somewhere because I know it's going to be a, a long journey and take a lot of time, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, I've done the same thing with crypto. I did that, you know, uh, yeah, I've done, I have the kind of the same thing, honestly, when it comes to like, I guess, hobbies. You know, yeah, and you're covered in crypto in. tattoos. You're a fucking junkie, bro. Well, I mean, before <laughs> crypto, though, it was honestly, I mean, nobody would be able to tell now, but it was, it was the gym, man. I was spending four, six hour that. days at the gym, man. Uh, I was down to about 5% body fat. It wasn't, I mean, I was in shape, but I was definitely not healthy. I'm just now as unhealthy as I was then, just not as in good shape. You know what I mean? It's like. You were skinny. You were fat before. Now you're fat, fat. Right, right, right. Yeah, my health was my health wasn't great, but I looked in, I looked good in shape and all. And then because I was over addicted to just, you know, fitness and I was, you know trying to make sure I only took in as many calories as I needed to burn or whatever. It was way too much. And I'm just so happy crypto got me out of that because I cared way too much about that. And that, Ken, what are some, yeah. uh, what are some, what are some newbie advice or tips that you can give Aiden for someone who just got into crypto? Oh man, a hundred percent utility, you know, NFTs that have something to do with something. If you can get land NFTs, uh, in game resources, like, um, 
you know, there's this game, 22nd Century Racing. It's on a ghost market. You know, they have, like, limited edition cars. So when you see people in the game playing and that's the car they're driving, they, they own that vehicle. Uh, some of them are one of one. So uh, if somebody really wanted that car, that color, that, you know, thing. Yo, Ken, you know what I was thinking of today, bro? It exactly kind of cops off that. With our planet, how you're able to stake other... Uh, like your NFTs on wax, you could stake them. Well, that's our... the most basic. No, no, but utility, I understand. Yeah. I, I understand. But yo, what it looked like me, I have a lot of turkeys and those were paying a hundred bucks or a hundred ether or whatever. hundred bucks. Stake. Uh, <laughs> shut up, man. <laughs> um, but yo, if I didn't want to, like, for example, if I didn't give a shit about our planet and I didn't want to stake them, I could like lease them out to someone else to stake them i don't know just like on on there's like some games where you can like oh if you own the car you can oh yeah well that's that's not built into atomic hub yet but i would imagine it is but yeah that's another utility man with uh splinter lands i could pimp Um, out my twerkies bro you could you can lease out your splinter lands nfts so if you have really good cards for the game and you don't really need to play it, but you know that if people borrowed your cards, they could win tournaments. They yeah. will. So you could just like have these NFTs from Splinterlands and just lease them out, and that's it. Now you're you're yeah. just renting your cards to well, players the that need that, to borrow them. Same thing with that dissolution game. That uh, that's how you go mine. You go grab a spaceship and you go up into space and mine asteroids, but. Uh, the ships are super expensive, so a lot, a lot of people they just rent them out, so they're just making money all the time from people just leasing their ships for a month or so. Well, that's in-game ownership, right? A lot yeah. of these uh, resources in video games, you know, that are you know virtual assets, can be tokenized and sold by the company to raise funds for the game. So imagine being able to like actually buy the merchant character in assassin's creed instead of pre-ordering it at, at gamestop you could you know buy that in-game character and whatever resources he gets from players in that world like that's where we're headed that's how you'll pre-order games moving forward it would be by buying nfts that they will eventually build a game for and eventually use in that game that has a role with scarcity but my biggest advice is buy something that has utility and look under the hood of things that have a roadmap that plan to bring utility. Like Alien Worlds, you know, wasn't where it was at today, you know, day one. People had to kind of like trust in that they were going to keep building. And COGS, you know, when they came out, kind of crushed it. But that was all on faith and love out of the community because yeah. their game still really isn't like public yet. They have a closed beta. Yeah. There is public like, you know, gameplay. And right now they're staking and everything, but that wasn't their day one. So if you look yeah. into roadmaps, check under their hood and see, hey, they're going to have utility with this. It's not just like a, a piece a, of, but, yes. do you believe in NFT, but do you, do you believe in the NFT art market? And like, like things like Twerky Pepe, I'm going to talk about him because I'm a Twerky Pepe whale. And Aiden's also a twerky Pepe whale. <laughs> and Ken Bozak, he's a twerky Pepe whale. So, um, like, things like that. Like, do you see those having value for, like, a long time just because of how scarce they are? And well, because- that and the nostalgic value, you know. It's like, yeah. imagine being kids on the playground and going back in time and actually being able to grab that cog that you and your friends had oh, on the man. playground. Exactly, dude. It'd like that's priceless, what got me excited right? about Street Fighter. But um yo, Aiden, uh you like you're you're digging wax, eh? More than ETH? More than the ETH NFTs? Like are you are you enjoying the collections on wax more? I see value in both for sure. Um yeah. I think when it comes to things like Twerky Pepe, there's going to be a lot of hype around it when the community is fairly limited to the crypto community. Yeah, um, That's where there's going to be the biggest growth there. And then as yeah. it becomes more mainstream adopted, then we're going to see more and more brands that we've known for decades that are going to jump on the, the hype train. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you got to think early... Twerky just came out, bro, bro. And that was like one of the first, you know, collabs. And now Pranksy is a collab. Yeah, which is... I and mean, he's, he's actually uh, Aiden, our special guest today. So he's going to be hopping into the waiting room in, in a minute, Aiden. So if you want to let him in, uh, we've got Twerky Pepe coming on the show. Oh, boy. 
Uh, <laughs> right? Um, so he's actually launching on Wax, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. And this is kind of the, his first talking about the collection and him coming over to Wax. So this is pretty sweet. Better uh, buy some Wax. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yo, I'm serious, man. I can't wait for people to realize the power of NFTs on Wax. I mean, a lot of these uh, Ethereum artists... I see coming over with like, you know, sort of like taking the uh, lifeboat from Ethereum, so to speak, you know, it's kind of weird, but they're being priced out and they're the ones that made it what it is, but what it is now they can't afford to use. And uh, now well, I, I mean, see people uh, price uh, taking their NFTs off the market, uh, pricing them lower and lower and lower. And I'm just like, it's it wouldn't happen on wax. Nope. But he's selling out every single piece. I he know, out which on is you. amazing. Uh, is he in the waiting room yet, Aiden? Yep. All right, let him in. Yeah, definitely uh, one thing I've been noticing is still images are overly saturated. Alejandro, how you hey. doing, buddy? How oh, goes it, bro, bro? Hey, guys, how you doing? Dude, we're so happy you came on. We're so, like, you're sitting with the twerky whales here. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, man, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for the uh, invite, man. You've got some cool stuff to tell us, man. So I'm just going to let you run for a little bit here, bro. Um, well, I can just say that the last 72 hours have been very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> to dude, say been, the least. Dude, the whole NFT space has been crazy for the last 72 hours. It's like a lot of stuff, you know, like from Lindsay Lohan to... My little <laughs> <is> around. <laughs> hey, congratulations on the the collab with Pranksy, man. Thank that was you, awesome. thank you, thank you, thank you. Respect. Yeah, it happened, yeah. That's so cool, um, man. And yes, you know, a lot of stuff, a good stuff happened lately, and I have been receiving a lot of love and everything by a lot of people, a lot of people from the Wax community, which I'm very, very thankful. Um. But you know, also in the side, in the sad news, my cat that passed away. So it's kind of been like I know. I'm sorry. For yeah, loss, sorry for that. Man. I saw it's, that. It's, okay. <laughs> it's just been like a lot, I would say. To and it has been a little bit difficult way to balance everything because at the same time, something that I realized is that I haven't getting also a lot of requests by a lot of people. Yeah. And I need to learn how to you know manage and to say yes or no to a couple yeah. of things. It, yeah, man, just just go slow, man, and just you know what, like you obviously have fun with Turkey Pepe. It's such a fun project, so just make sure you know don't don't get it to the point where it's not fun anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I like, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I know, I don't know exactly what you can share and can't share. So I don't want to like say anything out of line. But can you tell us about anything happening in the next? 48 hours or so yeah and if you, need, <laughs> if you need any of my help with wax nft stuff i volunteer my services yeah. man first of all how to change my avatar picture because oh, i don't even do know this. how to do that yeah I oh wow that. you guys okay <laughs> let's I'll, I'll send everybody links in the telegram after yeah. that. because i haven't actually looking for youtube tutorials about how to do it <laughs> and it's like all over the place getting too technical and yeah Dude, but anyway, no, it's them, not it's not that technical. Bros. It's ask one link, bro. one link away. I'll, I don't want to get distracted. I'll get it to everybody after this. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, you can have a custom image uh, on the Wax blockchain that re you know can be yeah. reflected on the wallets or on the marketplaces. Yeah, cool. So I just announced uh, before this that I released the Valentine's special for the Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, I saw that. And on Monday, I will put out the first um, release for Wax, an exclusive one. Oh. Finally. So <laughs> highly anticipated. I mean, so yeah. anticipated. People keep FOMOing and buying fake ones. I feel yeah. bad. Yeah. I do feel bad, but it's almost Dude, it, it it's is their publicity. own fault. That and for all we know, it's the people that are counterfeiting them, buying them from themselves. You know what I mean? So it's hard. <laughs> yeah, they're trying it's... to just wash trade it. Like... Right. <laughs> yeah, it's. It, but you know, I think it had, at the beginning when I started getting all these messages, mainly by you, Ken. Thank you so much. Of You're like, welcome. hey, this no, is I nice saw this happening. amazing, and I saw people that were going immediately after like copying it, and we had to make sure that it wasn't you so we could flag it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've been we've been on top of it ever since, but it's been it, happening a lot. 
Yeah, and it has been getting flagged faster and faster. Um, so definitely the people from Atomic, you know, thank you so much for the support. <laughs> they verify me right away. Um, everything has been, you know, very good. But, I, I, you know, I, there was one time that a guy joined me in my Discord and he was like, hey, thank you so much for Twerky Soul. And I was like, did the guy who bought it sell it to you? Because he's selling it for like 100 Ethereum. Like, I did that well. You and then he was like, no, look, I got it from Wax. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, it was very sad, you know. And since then, I was like, okay, I have to hurry up. But, I, you know, I just didn't want to put whatever I have. Yeah. So is Ethereum it going to be, like, unique that. stuff on Wax yes. separate from the art on Ethereum? It's going to be an its own collection. It's going to have something that is very distinctive, that is going to be uh, only for Wax, you know, to make a clear uh, difference. And also because I want to working concepts that they know they might work better in wax um okay. so yeah so far this is it i already have like 25 sketches but i will release it slowly because, okay yeah so officially what's the what's the official date and time of the launch uh monday 10 p.m uh gmt 10 p.m GMT. now are you working with people at atomic or anything or how are you like, i'm just curious if anyone's helping you with this uh it's me so okay again if you need any help man Dude, I, I reach out you, man. Okay. please anything I mean, you need bro I, I cannot take full credit you know danielle uh nft ignition she helps me putting stuff together and kind okay. of keep myself down um but the rest like on the collection is all by myself the website by myself the communication by myself i love your website man it looks great thank you thank you thank you um I actually got an, I mean, I'm not sure if I should be, nah, I will say it. I actually got an offer from someone giving me a couple of thousands. Yeah. Like a lot of thousands uh, for a percentage of the brand. In, and for a moment, I was thinking like, man, I can actually use that money, you know, to Don't... get some support from someone. Or, yeah. You know? I wouldn't but do I was it, like, man. Ah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Dude, you've got a hundred percent of this thing right now. Like, yeah, and you got valuable, plenty man. of people that would help you for free if you ever. Yeah, that. It's, dude, honestly, yeah. man, you've got like you're in the bro bro community. Like, there's some skilled people. I already got it. You know, I I, I have been asking for help, for example, for, for crypto boxels to set up my gallery. That, by the way, I got a parcel. And yes, you know, congrats. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so, no, I can't wait to visit the gallery in Crypto Voxels. So, Congrats. But, but, you know, I started trying to build this stuff and I was like, man, this is so fun, but I don't have time. Like, I don't really have time to... to, to what a world when, when a twerking Pepe frog needs a, needs an assist. I love the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I know like, architects, if you need to hire a, like an actual professional man. Crypto Voxel architect... One of those, uh, one of those that they're actually on your Telegram group. Contact yes, me. yes, exactly. And he was He's... like, I have you, bro. Give me a collaborator. He started building. He just told me, hey, what, what should I do? And I was like, I'm honestly, so happy to fall hear that. Hey, like, Aiden, can you pull you up Turkey Pepe website and maybe we'll we'll share the screen? Cause That's I, why I, I love my Telegram, man. There's so many helpful people that are yeah. so smart and just like know what they're, they're doing. doing. Yeah. Very. And then there's me. I'm very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> took us uh, an hour yeah. to do a drop the other night on atomic and you didn't even get one of your <laughs> own and i forgot to claim my own nft <laughs> oh god by the way sean i sent the video of you hyping the bro bro turkey to my family and they love you nice they awesome. say that whenever you're in mexico you should let them know and they're gonna give oh you trust me that might be sooner than later us. man i might be heading down to mexico in the next oh, couple man. months for real oh, so man. um <laughs> Aiden actually, so Aiden just he just got into crypto five days ago. He he well, didn't even know Aiden. what an NFT was six days ago, and he actually is like, he's addicted to it, man. Like he may or may not have accidentally he, bought way more than one of the pranksy twerkies. Yeah, because I was fomoing for one so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aiden, how many did you get? Or did you get one? Uh, I four. got one. I got one. He got <laughs> four. He got four. I got zero. Like a new. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I bought NFT Ignition hers for getting me mine because I didn't have any crypto in wax or uh, on all my money in wax. And I had to convert the wax to Ethereum. And I was like, no, it's going to sell out. But, bro, but to be honest, when, when 
Should I? Can I share the story about the collaboration? Do you think? Absolutely. It's, it's up to you, man. It's your brand, so, right? Basically, one time I made this uh, collaboration for G Money, the guy who has this crypto punk with a monkey. Okay. And he was like, "Hey, make my crypto punk, uh, you know, a turkey pepe." So I made his version of that, put it out. He put it on the Discord for the crypto punks, and brrr, all of a sudden, a lot of those big whales start joining my Discord. Wow. And they really like it and start buying and everything. And all of a sudden, someone comment, "Hey, um, Pranksy, what about Pranksy, Turkey Pepe collaboration?" And he just replied with like, "Should we?" And I start, you know, fangirling because I'm a huge fan of Pranksy. Yeah, and that was, that was a nice time, looking at, nice looking NFT man. Yeah, <laughs> she's got big brain. So yeah. uh, Pranksy, I'm a huge fan. I love the whole Walmart of NFTs thing. And what really made me fall in love was the advent calendar. Just, I love that. Very creative. Did it yeah. have actual, did, was there chocolate? I mean, I, what I would probably have done is eat a piece of chocolate every time I went to check my wallet for the daily drop. <laughs> really yeah, get well, that dopamine yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah 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 plus literally, i really like chocolate <laughs> literally training yourself anytime you smell chocolate you're gonna have to buy an nft for the rest okay. of your life okay <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat a piece of chocolate right now oh <laughs> uh, you're such a fat kid ken <laughs> i love chocolate it's so good yeah, this might be the heaviest podcast that's ever happened there's like there's like a thousand pounds of fucking nft nerds on one screen right now <laughs> uh Aiden, do you want to pull up? Can you share your screen? Just yep. uh, show, let's show people some of the twerkies. Dude, I'm so excited for Monday. I'm not going to be able to sleep Sunday night. It's going to be like Santa Claus coming to town. All uh, right. So walk us through the website a little bit. Or like, are there any, any ones that like, or maybe your first one? Like, uh, uh, If you go all the way to the down, you will see the number zero, which is actually the first draft. And it was made after a telegram sticker that um daniel uh, the nft ignition uh, posted yeah and, you know, just for fun i started doing this in my ipad show it to my husband and he was like this is amazing you should put it out and i was like i'm just gonna put it you know just yeah i love how i love how you put a bitcoin on it even though it's yeah. on the ethereum blockchain like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> again it was all like not really serious you know what i mean it so every crazy. single one of these has sold out yeah and like how long was it taking for the that first one to sell out compared to like how quickly did the did your collaboration with pranksy sell out yesterday uh the the pranksy collaboration sold the 200 nfts in like 40 minutes jesus christ yeah <laughs> dude I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm so proud of you man that's that's, <laughs> that's impressive as fuck man thank you i mean of course well was, deserved oh, though well deserved and i'm like, curious how long did it take you to create that art from scratch because you had to create pranksy right um so I usually do not uh, make sketches for my turkey peppers. I uh, mainly do all of them uh, directly on the vector software that I right. use. But this one, I was like, this is a human shape. You know, it's a new thing. I want to take care of the proportions and everything. And also the requirement was to use Dude, She's got avatar. a fat ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know the first the she first squats one, man she does squats <laughs> the, first one, the first one that i sent was naked okay and pranksy was like no 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 like i agree i just wanted to see how far i can go oh so, man we got to talk about our airdrop more because we can go all the way that's <laughs> i'm so excited for that but this i'm so happy to get one of these because this honestly I, this is my first pranksy for, or, or, and and first uh, Twerky Pepe on the Ethereum blockchain because like I don't really have many Ethereum NFTs because I don't have yeah. much Ethereum, but I did have to grab this one and I got one and it was like a two in one and I'm gonna hodl this for life. I can't wait to get a digital picture frame to put this in. <laughs> this is definitely yeah. one of my favorite NFTs in my wallet. Yeah. It's I it's definitely the most. I, no, no, that's not true. The most difficult one was the one that I made for you, Ken. You're one of one. 
I know. I'm sorry. That, t- that was so much work. <laughs> that was... We, but wait, can we say to be fair, when we started talking and doing things, we had absolutely no idea where this was going to go. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was just like... Hey, it happened quick, guy. too, man, because like yeah. your, the Turkey Bro Bro was, what, two weeks ago? It, kind of, yeah. Maybe two weeks and a half. Yeah, and we we were working on it. Well, you were working on it for like a week. So thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, I, I was. You know, the thing is, like, I just I wanted to do something really special because I know it would be so, for wax. Yes. And for your brand, and I was like, thank you. I just don't want to change the color. If I want to do something really crazy and everything, so it really took me time. But I will say, in the technical in the technical side, yours took me longer, and this one took me longer in the. And the concept by itself, I will say, because it was the first time that I was drawing a human shape. You did great, man. That looks. Yeah, I was. Uh, nice. But you know, it's very crazy because I showed it to him, and and, and, and Pranks was like, "Okay, um, uh, yeah, okay, like it." And I, but you know, Pranks is a very busy person, so you cannot actually have to a lot of time to get answers and everything. So then I say, like, when is gonna be released? And Pranks was like, "Tonight," and I was like it's tonight already like <laughs> uh so i kind of have to you know rush the communication and everything very fast but at the end you know franksy was like 200 for this price put it now um that's why i couldn't <laughs> talk you... with some of the people that they actually were looking for this one but are you able to share how much the uh they're gonna be on wax for the for your first collection i have not think on that but i was thinking on following the same pattern that uh ken did yeah you know having one uh, one that is uh, 100 10 and one um but i am mm. not sure about prices I, I think i will need help from you ken because i don't know anything I'm, about... I, I i volunteer myself to you <laughs> completely bro bro i've been a fan since day one and i'm just excited to see you bringing this to wax because mm-hmm. not only for that but you're going to be able to bring a large community of people that are yeah. you know big nft collectors from ethereum and kind of get their attention over to wax which i really appreciate that's yeah. why I'm, I'm more than happy to volunteer to help you know i mean there was so when i start getting uh, a lot of let's say whales around, no, stop screen sharing it uh, 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 yeah, when I yeah, it's hard to stop of... looking at those asses. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So when I start getting a couple of whales having an eye on my collection, I start getting messages by like stay in Ethereum and stay here and be more expensive and be more one of ones. And but you can stuff. do that on wax though, bro. Like yeah, and yeah, with yeah. original unique art too. Why not? Like, do you have yeah. a way? Like, what's stopping someone from buying all of them as soon as you do your launch? Have we? Have you thought of that? Because like, you want to make sure I can you can fix get... all that. Yeah, I know Ken can fix that real easily. Yeah, I mean, it's a problem that it hap- it, it happens. Um, it's just uh, how can I say it? For I would say for three, four days, I was feeling very bad because I was kind of getting a pressure of trying to do stuff more expensive. Uh, and then I, I was talk, after talking with my husband, I, I, we were thinking that this is really stupid because, you know, I, we honestly, I don't do this for the money. The money is really good. Well, this know, is why money. Banksy gave away art for like, you know, $10 in yeah. New York City or something. Yeah. To prove a point. That was like, crazy, yeah. I can but... sell my art for whatever I want. And that's, I love that you're, you know, you're, you're feeling that way and expressing yeah. that. The thing is like, I got messages at least one every day by someone saying, hey man, I have a shitty day, but I just go to your website and I smile. And to me, to me, it's like, okay, my work is done, you know? Per- is like, that person me? <laughs> I messaged you that uh, one. <laughs> that's not for you, that's really sweet for you. No, but, but, but the thing is like, this project helped me, you know, to kind of cheer up and dude, get my creativity it's up. It's so and I fun, want to man. share it, you know? It's so but fun, I, dude. Yeah, but I, I want to do it also accessible but I also need to know that I need to kind of also push a little bit the brand by itself so it continues growing. So I'm kind of in that gray line now, you know, like. I, I mean, the best thing, dude, is like just, you know, have have some advisors kind of like have some bro bros that you can, like Ken, man. I know Ken can yeah. have Ken has a really good like strategy, I think, uh, mm-hmm. with how he's doing his NFTs. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and dude like you have the community there there's already you've got like dude money don't be afraid of making money dude because you're a good dude and you'll do good things with the money Thanks. you know donate Thanks. it man but like yeah. don't sell yourself short because you've got momentum here yeah. and i don't think you should sell yourself short on it man yeah yeah i think you can definitely appeal to both crowds uh, i think you're one of ones go for the moon and mm -hmm. when it comes to your hundred sets then you can you just keep doing what you're doing and so you can kind yeah. of do both yeah definitely yeah thanks i mean that's just confirmation for us but then what i wanted when i also wanted to mention is that i asked pranksy hey i want to release something for wax but i'm not sure how this will affect my collection and he said honestly do it you should not be attached to any blockchain any platform yes the more you can expand the better and after that i was like you know what fuck those wells that told me all of this like i'm basically being told by him what he would do well i see yeah. that you could have your art museum where your high-end quality art is on, on on ethereum and then you have a gift store for things that you can make in your spare time that are like knickknacks and odds and end quality and that could be on wax and i see no reason why that you yeah. can't have fans on both sides of the financial spectrum yeah yeah, yeah. totally yeah, I agree. Can we make so, a man. twerky like dance club in some metaverse somewhere where it's just like oh. a twerky club and you walk in and it's just jam packed with fucking twerkies? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I have designed a club already for the music video I'm working on. I love. I didn't want to bring it up. I, I swear I didn't know that. I swear I didn't know that. I have You like Ken has here a, a preview. Sean has here a preview. A lot of people. I have been. I'm really bad keeping secrets to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, I do feel like. Well, good thing we're good at it for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just edit that out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but you know, for example, even um. When another collect, uh, for example, someone else who owns a collection comes to me and say like, "Hey, would you do something for Valentine's?" You don't have to say yes or no. Like, we don't want to mess up your plans. And I was like, "I didn't invite Valentine's. You know, I'm just telling you if I would do, I would do it. Like, if I would do a music video, hey, I'm making a music video. Maybe that would motivate you also to do a music video. I don't see why should I have to compete with." you know with anybody and if you know saying hey i'm making a music video is motivating people to keep an eye on my you know collection well come like yeah I, man every, I, I, yeah, every <laughs> let's get everybody to make a music video for their collection and then we can hodl those music video nfts let's go <laughs> yeah 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 man, so NFTs. the release is gonna be in the crypto voxel gallery by the way so that's oh, the idea crypto kind of voxel like art gallery music concert twerky pepe let's go yes, man. Uh, yeah. I, see, I see Post Malone got Pokemon and Torky Pepe got Crypto Voxels. All right. All right. <laughs> Who's winning? I think the Crypto Space is winning. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Man, Crypto Space is going crazy right now, man. Yeah. Doesn't this feel like 2017, but just way more organized? Way more fun, too. Yeah, It's so man. much less sketchy. I don't feel like I'm walking down dark alleys. There's probably, <laughs> like, lights and stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, man. When I got into Bitcoin, I was selling it. Like, so I was brokering Bitcoin sales. So I used to hang out at the strip club outside till, like, 2 a.m. handing out business cards because back pages used to still be open back then. And people were using Bitcoin <laughs> for back pages. Man, that's yeah. how I built my... my that's how I built my clientele in the in the greasy old days <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i'm new so anything else any other spoilers you're on a roll man you've leaked all your secrets any other ones you want, you want to leak? <laughs> well honestly <laughs> though if there's anything that you could talk about maybe with your like next release because i just looked at we were you know you were showing the uh valentine's ones can you mm -hmm. go back to screen sharing if you don't mind and show them a little bit uh so i see i think there was three of them correct yeah there's three of them one is 10 of 10 then another one is three of three and the other one is one of ones yeah so have they uh, sold out yet? I can't. No, no, no. They are going to be released tomorrow at okay, that makes uh, sense. 9 p.m. GMT. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one of, so what are the pricings for the 10 of 10, 3 of 3, and 1 of 1? So 10 of 10 is 0 0.15. The 3 of 3 is 0 0.5. And the cupcake is an auction. Oh, uh, that's going to be fun. I mean, that is... 
That is a beautiful chocolate cupcake, my friend. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if I mentioned somebody that. asked me, hey, what is going to be the price of the Kim Kardashian one? I was like, who's Kim Kardashian? And oh. apparently, the, <laughs> it looks like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> oh, you should, you should do Kardashian. one like that, but the whole NFT is just a butt. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds like gold. Man. Yeah, that is all she is though. Like if South Park ever had Kim Kardashian, you know what I mean? It would just be a giant ass. <laughs> Man, I should put that on wax. I just oh, want, like, I, I love that you want to use wax for this. Let's go. I'm so excited. It's just yeah. awesome how easy it is for you to collaborate, man. And like do like mm. it's just such a cross NFT collaboration. Like I'm so excited to see the next 40 that you come so out. sean when does this air because uh this is launching tomorrow for us which is today for people listening yeah to this. so right now this it's saturday right now we're gonna get it edited and released tomorrow afternoon so sunday afternoon uh yeah it's gonna we're gonna put it everywhere so we'll get the bro bros to spread it around and get people excited and uh we'll get some links from twerky pepe over yeah, yeah, here yeah, yeah. And we'll put those in the description for people. It's twerkypepe.com, bro, bros. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Is there gonna be also, a, is there gonna be any sort of link on the twerkypepe.com website to bring people to wax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, next to this uh, purple block, next to it, there's gonna be one that is linking to the um, Crypto Boxes Museum and the Wax um, collection, which is gonna have its own page. Uh, probably it's gonna be twerkypepe.com slash wax. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah, there's also graffiti work on its way. Uh, a guy from London is making a toy, handmade paint. So, a lot of <laughs> stuff, man. It's just, so, you're going to have a yeah. physical collectible with one of your NFTs? It's a hip hop turkey pop. Turkey <laughs> oh, I already wow. got the, 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 the sketch and it's oh, going to be mauled and painted. And they're going to be, I think, 10 in different colors. And they're going to be auctions. And some of them are going to be for charity. So That's amazing. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I love physical collectibles with NFTs. Yeah. yeah. And that's how Ethereum should be used, honestly. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah. Like, so yeah. I, I like how you're using it for that. And then, like, gonna bring a giant ass over to wax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the turkey peppers in wax are gonna be the less bougie, but more fun for sure. For sure, you you have to admit. When, whenever you see the sketches, you're gonna flip. Dude, I laugh my ass off every time I look at my fucking NFT wallet. Like, <laughs> if I'm ever just like hitting a roadblock, I'm just like turkey pepe. <laughs> What I'm a 30 year old guy watching a fucking twerking frog on my screen laughing. Like, I love it, man. I love NFTs. <laughs> NFTs like made me feel like a kid again, but it's like, yeah. like but you can be a rich kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the only way you can buy brats and get away with it as a grown man <laughs> with a beard. <laughs> yeah. Aiden, what, uh, what NFTs are you excited about right now? Uh, so I'm definitely super excited to see your stuff come to wax. Um, oh, it's it's, it's uh, my preferred platform when it comes to buying NFTs right now. So that's super mm -hmm. exciting. Um, yeah, as well as the uh, Stonk Wars that's coming out. Uh, I believe that's Monday as well. Um, so that's that's the main ones that I'm watching right now. Cool. So Stonk Wars, man, Stonk, like that's a pre-mint one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's something that uh, it's kind of showing a list that I made up with Sean of things to look for when it comes to NFTs and pre-minting is super, super important. Yeah, um, I think it has to be animated for the most part or else there's very little point. I think still images are going to die out pretty quickly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, definitely. I like what they're doing with the rarities as well as the the fact that everything's pre-minted. Yeah, I mean, I think the, like the value, like what even Twerky taught me was like the difference between NFT art and like the, a lot of the wax ones that are used on dApps and use them for, like in a game or something, you know what I mean? And they're two completely different markets, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Totally. Ken, what about you, man? You excited for Stonk Wars? Yes. Uh, anything that Joel and Travis touch is gold. And I've, I've told them that since they were. They're dude, touching I, me on Monday and they're coming on the crypto oh, podcast. Golden. <laughs> no, but yeah. for real, man, I remember talking to them and, you know, 
what like two years ago about what they were planning to do with blockchain heroes and that they and then in New York City again and then to see it happen the way that it's been gamified just yeah. I'm just excited because they're creative and they're smart enough to use the technology enough to gamify it. I love so, your character on that on their collection, dude. The, the Bitcoin bro. The Bitcoin bro. I fucking love it, man. Um, Thank you. Goals getting a number one mint. Bitcoin bro is on my Well, there's goal. always like the, you know, the Bitcoin bro kind of a thing, you know, like it's, I like that they included that vibe in the dude, Hero they had series. To. But that was such like, dude, we were like the vibe that we put out at conferences, bro, like was a thing and it deserved its own fucking card, man. Yeah, dude. Like, I feel like that that kind of embodies all of those uh, evangelists, you know, that didn't yeah, have to put on exactly. a suit and then helped get Bitcoin to where it was. Even fanny pack pajamas. crew. Fanny pack, yeah. <laughs> the fanny pack professionals. Yeah, we're very professional. <laughs> Oh man! Like so, yeah, I'm excited for for Stonk Wars for sure because I know that they're gonna have a really good gamification to the series, uh, and I like community projects. Like I know that you were excited for Street Fighter and all that, but I mean, I've I'm seen what happen with Honestly, like dude, with like, brats and I want to talk you know, about Street that. Fighter, man, because like <laughs> I think I think it's pretty valuable for people to understand why Street Fighter is not that uh, maybe great of an opportunity compared to Stonk Wars right now. Well, that's because they're doing an infinite pack sale for yeah. 24 hours. So after one day, the only way that you could buy a pack is from somebody who used their credit card to get it. Yeah. And that's it. So, And they're going to take 6% of every sale after that in wax. So it's almost like they're setting people up to beat their own little NFT slaves on the blockchain. And I don't like that. Like, yeah. it's weird. I don't, I mean, there's no scarcity. So just, just to throw something out there. So I found a, a company that I've been using called Coin Miles. They're out of Montreal here. And you can link your credit card and get cash back in Bitcoin. So it would like for that instance, for the people that are going to be using credit cards, man, they should link their credit card with coin. Oh, Miles. fold too. That or coin. Yeah, coin exactly. Miles, yeah, something like that. Exactly. Something to earn crypto while you're doing it. Right. So at least keep that crypto side of it a little bit. I wonder if they could get a deal with Lolly at least. I mean, I love the artwork on Street Fighter, and I think it looks dope as fuck, like the higher end ones. I just wish they would accept uh, wax for it when you, know, you directly. Look like, you look like you really want to fucking. Yeah, hey, let's go, bro. I, let's I go. Mean, <laughs> with all my respect to the Street Fighter community, I feel that because of how big the brand is, they. I don't know. At least the previews of the cards, they kind of seem a little bit. Like I don't know how to say it. like they buy the 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 the, the you know the, the the assets and they just put them there. But I don't I don't see anything that how can I say like it? the production value isn't yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I feel uh, yeah. like you have the illustration, Even, you change know, the background. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you could man. take it to something more, more, more something cooler because we've, kind of we've seen rushed. what independent artists can do and then we're looking mm -hmm. at a big company like capcom and looking and saying like well this is basically the equivalent of clip art but yeah. is, Cap is capcom even like a profitable company anymore like aiden you might know that like you're pretty... yeah they, they definitely have money to do better than they're doing yeah yeah i was a little bit disappointed with the street fighters because i'm i'm i'm, I'm a fan you know and then when i saw it i was like did you just change the but background you know, and you know, yeah but you know what man like all the future projects that are and brands that are going to come in are going to learn from their fucking mistakes and yeah it's just going to get better and better man so yeah, yeah the markets yeah. the market's going to decide like the people like us that are well you that are creating like me and aiden and ken that are buying nfts um you know what i mean we're that's what's going to determine what people want and how things totally. are going to roll out and totally. being active in the telegrams and telling the, the telling them like, yo, do it this way. Um, I've seen a lot of salty, dramatic telegram <laughs> conversations over the last uh, 72 hours about street fighter. I don't know. Ken, do you want to talk about drama at all? <laughs> or yeah. I don't care, man. Their community can come after me all they want. They're they I'm, all I'm did, saying they is booted? did they boot you from the group? No, they just silenced me because all I did was say that they're only accepting credit cards for the sale. And the website doesn't really emphasize that because it's missing that one word. Yeah. And they got mad at me because like eight people immediately were like, wait, what? Only credit? I'm like, yeah, if you want to buy it directly from the sale, 
it's only credit card. And they're like, wait, why are they using wax then for their NFTs? Yeah. And I'm like, well, what they want you to do is buy it from somebody who already bought it from them and expect them not to sell you a priced up thing. Like, cause you didn't have the same opportunity to use the current. It doesn't, to me, that's just not something I want to support. That's yeah. all. And because I voiced my own like two sats on the situation, they were like, oh, that's FUD. And I'm like, no, all of it was facts mm. and then just how I feel about it. How's yeah. that FUD? Oh, salty people in this world. Yeah. And then they're going to come at me and say, like, uh, I bought, yo, did you hear I sold a $7,000 NFT, bro, bro? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I did. It's 7000 <sighs> And I gave and half of it. Dude, and I gave half story. of it to my artist. And my artists quit their day job, bro. Yeah, what a beautiful wow. story, man. I was talking to Nathan yesterday. He's going to be coming on Crypto Couch. Um, but yeah, man, what a great story of just how that happened and how he was able to quit Yeah, his shout job out and... to Smart Digital Payments for buying that NFT. Basically, they bought it to just, you know, make sure that, you know, my artists could quit their day job. I'm and people it. think that I bought it myself. I'm like, bro, that was seven grand. And I have to give half of it away. <laughs> I can, no, I can't afford to do things like that. I love how Ken <laughs> looks like he can't afford to do things like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not kidding. The first time I, I was a star, when, when I knew about you, Ken, I was like, this guy is fucking rich. Not kidding. <laughs> that was my first impression. <laughs> I have a lot more NFTs than I do Bitcoin anymore. I mean, I, I had a rough 2020 and uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it was rough. Dude, it was rough for me too, man. Uh, Aiden, so me and Aiden actually uh, work in the same industry for our nine to five. We do direct face-to-face uh, -face fundraising. We have mm -hmm. sales teams in Canada here. He, he's in Toronto. I'm out in Alberta. Mm -hmm. um, but man, what a rough year for face-to-face -face sales. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like we, we, I, yeah, we can't even smile at people. Can't shake hands. Can't give people high fives. Like we lost so many mm. little. What you got to do is just put a mask, you know, because you have to wear a mask. You just make it one of those smiley face ones, and you know. Oh maybe... yeah, you have to. You have to. You can't go out with a yeah. plain black mask. Like yeah. you know, you got to have fun with it for sure. But, yeah. But like, man, I feel bad. Like, like I don't. I'm not. Me and Aiden are in the field. You know pitching anymore mm. uh, but man do i ever feel bad having like these man my guys have like acne around their faces wearing these masks and it's like cold as shit here so they're outside and like those masks get so moist and then they freeze they're literally getting frozen masks because they're outside talking to people all day <sighs> yeah it's yeah, rough it's man it's well rough. this is this is why this is the era for virtual sales and virtual goods and virtual yeah. services and that's why I'm excited to see the Crypto Voxels uh, gallery for Twerky Pepe because people are going more the uh, virtual marketplaces and virtual experiences now than ever. And to see that, you know, you're kind of going where the puck's headed, bro, is like, and that's why when I, as soon as I saw you coming out with this, I was like, this dude's got a big brain. I know it. This dude's going to places and like, I'm just excited for you and proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for the strong support, guys. It's it's incredible thank you for all the it. laughs it makes us you know the way you make us feel with your art is trust me we love you and thank uh we and, and thanks you. again really thanks for coming on today man and thanks for sharing everything you shared uh about the collection um you know this is also aiden's first time ever doing a podcast so <laughs> we we really <laughs> popped his cherry hard <laughs> and uh i know we set it up really last minute so just you know thanks for uh, accommodating and coming on man I'm very happy to be invited here and count me in whenever you need someone to talk about stuff related to Turkey stuff. So, yeah. yeah, buddy. I'll hit you up in the DMs, bro, bro, and uh, we'll set something up so I can help you out. Thank you. The avatar, please. I really need to check yeah, no, I'll get you the link immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. yeah, I need to know how to do that too. Do you have three hours to walk me through it, Ken? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Well, listen, I don't know what time, how long we've been running this, but we'll probably wrap up this episode. So, uh, for everyone watching, like scoop up some Pepe's, we're going to get this out tomorrow. Hopefully there's enough time, but man, I think they're going to sell out in like two seconds. So Ken, definitely let's help him out and make sure that we can set something up so that one whale can't just come in and buy all 
a hundred like I <laughs> like I did last time. <laughs> yes, yes, we have to prevent the uh, wax twerky Pepe whales like you from reoccurring. I, I see Aiden just he's like, dude, shut up, let's fucking just buy all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have a really good plan in mind. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to be able to talk about something. I got a really good strategy already thought out. And I know just the right people to put you in touch with, bro. So I'm excited for this. Awesome. Well, anyone watching who actually watched to the end of the video, thanks for sticking with us. And we're going to be putting out hopefully an episode a week for the Just Learn Crypto show. Aiden's going to be my regular co-host. I'm sure Ken will be coming back on pretty soon. Uh, but guys, yeah, thanks so much, guys. And enjoy the rest of your weekend.